Oh, oh. Hi everybody, I hope you're having a super fantastic day. Today we're going to be looking at something new from Sephora. They have a new Sephora Favorites lip kit. This is the Give Me Some Nude Lip. This little kit here comes with everything you see pictured. There is a Buxton lip gloss, a Marc Jacobs lipstick, an Urban Decay full size lipstick. Over here we have a Bite Beauty lipstick, a Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick, and then we have an Estee Edit Lip Liner, which is also full size. The price of this little kit here is $28 US currency, and it is $34 Canadian. The value, however, is $88 in the US and $106 in Canada. The container it comes in here just looks like a very pale lilac color. It is in the shape of lips, and it has all of the ingredients and stuff in the back here. This, like, folds out, I'm guessing, really intensely. There we go. So it does have all the ingredients listed for all the lipsticks included. So today we're going to be swatching all of these, and I'm going to be trying them on as well. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Of course, the very first thing I would do is to drop something on the floor, have it roll underneath the couch, and then me not be able to find it. So give me just a second as I dig underneath my sofa to grab what just fell out. All right, I'm back, and that was more difficult than I thought it would be. Anyway, this, I'm going to like claw it so they don't all fall out. This is what it looks like inside. They're all just kind of jumbled up in here in this little lip box. We do have some little confettis to... I guess keep everything mildly safe. <laughs> so let me go ahead and remove the lipstick I'm currently wearing and then we'll start trying these out. So to try to escape, first we're going to be trying out the Estee Edit Lip Liner. This is in the shade 05 in the buff. All right, let's do a little swatch here on my wrist just to test out the creaminess. And it is very creamy. It does seem to be a very pretty color. So I'm excited to try this out. So I'm just gonna start lining my lips with this. I am not a lip lining expert. I typically don't line my lips, so hopefully I don't butcher the application. This is a really beautiful nude color, so I'm liking this a lot so far. It is very creamy, and it does roll up, which is nice. All right, so there are my lips lined with it. I am just going to go ahead and fill in just to see if you could use this on its own. Alright, and here's the liner it does on its own. I actually think it's a really pretty color. I was a little bit worried about this one because I was like, I don't really like lip liners. But I think it is a very pretty color and I do like the formula. It seems to be very creamy. It applied very evenly and smoothly. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. Just for fairness for the other shades and things like that, I will remove this. I'm not going to apply other lipsticks over top of it just so we can see how much pigmentation they really have and what color they truly are. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly remove this. All right, let's just go ahead and try out the other full-size item in here. This is an Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Comfort. This seems like it is a very beautiful, like, rosy brown color. Let's do a quick swatch on the wrist here. Ooh, that is so pigmented. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Very, very creamy, very pigmented. I didn't have to apply any pressure, basically. It just glided right on. All right, so let's give it a test on the lips. Here it is on the lips. I think it's really pretty. It's so, so creamy. Like, I feel like it's very hydrating. I have to say I'm getting, like, slightly tired of liquid lipstick. Is anybody else getting slightly tired of liquid lipstick? I feel like my lips are in a constant state of, like, Sahara Desert. But this one is very creamy filling and super pigmented and glided on amazingly. It is definitely more on the brown side, but there is just a bit of rosiness to it, which makes it a little bit more wearable for me. I typically don't wear, like, brown, brown lipsticks, but I think this one is very pretty. In between each lipstick application, after I'm wiping this off, I am going in with my beauty blender and just kind of cleaning up a little bit around and then adding a little bit of foundation to the lips just so we can get the full pigmentation of these lipsticks. All right, next up, speaking of matte liquid lips, we have this Too Faced Melted Matte, and this is in the shade Queen B. So let's go ahead and give this a go. This looks like a very, like, dusty rose color. Very pretty. Uh, ooh, <laughs> a little bit more purple than I was anticipating. Right, here it is on the lips. It was a little bit more purple than I was anticipating. There's definitely like a lavender undertone to this, but it is actually really pretty. I've never tried this formula before from Too Faced, so I'm very excited to see how this wears. It seems to be like a nice like thin formula. The pigmentation wasn't fantastic. I kind of like went over a couple of times just to really get it to be fully pigmented, but I do think it's a very nice light pretty color. The oil I'm using to take off my like liquid lipsticks and stuff tastes fantastic. This definitely isn't something you're supposed to eat. This is body oil from Victoria's Secrets, but it's coconut milk like scented. 
melted and it tastes like coconuts. It's real good, but I don't suggest you licking your lips or eating this because uh, yeah, that's probably not good for you. Probably not good for you. I gotta stop eating things that you're not supposed to. All right, next up at the box here, we have this little buxom full on lip cream and this is in the shade White Russian. So let's go ahead and try this on. I've never tried these before either. Oh, okay, so it's like a sticky kind of gloss texture. It smells okay, it doesn't smell bad at all. Oh, oh, I got some in my mouth and it instantly started tingling. Oh, my lips, are these supposed to tingle? I'm guessing these are some type of like plumping gloss because as soon as I put it in there and kind of like went like, I got a little bit in my mouth, my tongue instantly started like tingling and now my lips are tingling really bad. Either it's an allergic reaction or these are like a plumping lip gloss. This one isn't exactly too exciting, it's just more along the lines of like a milky pink lip gloss, but the exciting part is the unexpected tingling sensation that I got. Next up in here we have a Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Honeycomb and I forgot to swatch the other one so I'll swatch this one for you guys. Here it is on the wrist, definitely very similar in color to the rest, however this one's a little bit more light and a little bit more peachy. It did, however, glide on super nicely and it looks very pigmented. All right, so let's go ahead and try this on the lips. All right, here it is on the lips and I'm actually really liking this color. It is just a nice, like, light peachy nude. I think it's really, really cute. I don't really own anything like this, to be honest, so I'm very excited to have this little guy. All right, and last but not least, we have a little Marc Jacobs lipstick here in the shade Slow Burn. And I'm sure this is another nude. This one is probably the pinkest nude we have seen so far. Definitely looking very rosy there. Let's go ahead and give it a little swatch on the wrist. This one glided on also very nicely. It seems to be very creamy. The pigmentation is fantastic, but it is definitely more pink than the rest. I put on so many layers of foundation around my mouth. I have like a foundation mustache happening. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and try this one on the lips. Alright, and here's the Marc Jacob lipstick on the lips. I think it is very pretty. It's definitely more of like a mauve rose color, but it definitely goes along with the lines of the rest of these. It's also very creamy and very pigmented, and I feel like it would be more of a hydrating formula. I would say out of all of these, this one's probably the one that I have the most of, like as far as other lipsticks and things go, but I still really like it and I think it's pretty. Alright guys, that is everything out of our little box here. These are all these Sephora favorites nude lips. Let me know down below which one was your all's favorite. I really think I like this Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Honeycomb, which is different than other things I already have. I thought the color was really cute and I feel like it could go with a lot of different looks. I also think that it's really nice that we have two full-size, full-price items in here for the price you pay for it. $28 is, you know, that's a good amount of money, but at least you get a lot of different types of items and things that you can try to see what you like. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really, really mean the world to me. Plus, you can enter into our giveaways. I'll put a box somewhere on either side of me that will tell you our giveaway that is currently running. It is a ColourPop monthly giveaway, so it's very exciting. And other than that, I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye!